There we go. Oi. Fuck's sake. Uh, are you gonna sit right there, phone? I've got my eye on you, phone. I've got my eye on you. All right. All of you, listen to me ramble on pointlessly about VTubers. After the train finishes rolling by, of course. Preface and history. Fuck off, train. Don't give a shite. You fucking cunt. This history is not of VTubers. The history is of the bell curve or rise, peak, and then failure of what am I going to call this? Of uh, media, entertainment, medium. Audio-visual entertainment? Whatever. You'll understand why I'm having trouble putting a label on it in a moment. Way back when, a long-ass fucking time ago, in a galaxy far away, there were these buildings that you actually go into and sit down inside of in a dark room and they had a big white screen and they projected a thing onto it and they were called movie theaters does anybody remember this it's it's probably a dead gone done deal by now but the rise and fall of those it followed a similar progression to what i'm about to lay out for you every uh Every entertainment medium of the same thing has gone through the same process. Or at least within a 90% tolerance rating of being similar. So, starts off, it's, it gets interest. Then it gets to the peak, or, you know, somewhat near the peak, at the top of the curve. Yeah, somewhere where it starts diminishing returns. they start advertising you know come come to our theater come watch movies at the theater then it gets to the peak then after the peak it starts declining and then they start advertising again spoilers the same thing is happening with the US economy as well as the economy of the entire planet right now it's related but not that much to where I need to talk about it right now then after it passes the point where they started advertising on the diminishing returns curve, then it goes down into decline, and that's when in the entertainment industry... Is that another fucking train coming through? Yes, that is another fucking train coming through. I swear, I don't plan it. I don't plan for the train to come through. I don't keep a schedule. Although you could keep a schedule of when the train comes through on my end. That's besides the point. From point of diminishing returns on the inverse proportionate curve at the bell end of the spectrum where it goes down, you see they start advertising differently. They turn to pornographic releases in movie theaters. Who remembers this? As soon as a, a theater starts declining, they start showing porn. A lot of people might not know about it because it's a typically taboo thing that is ignored by most people. However, What were those physical buildings we went into to actually rent movies and video games from a while back? 
It was like, uh, one was called Blockbuster. Ah, another was called Movie Gallery. Video rental stores. Anybody else remember those? They had the same bell curve. I know, I'm, I'm motioning and it's backwards on your end, but fuck it. I'll do it backwards on my end so it's forwards on your end. They had the start. They get up to the point where they start advertising. Then they get diminishing returns. Then they have their peak. Then they start... Uh, what was it? Diminishing returns. Then the, the peak to the, the... The inverse proportionate of which is... I forgot. Fucking brain. And then they started with the... Pornography rentals. And then the... You know, the rest is historically in place because at the time they started going out you had online um, red boxes and uh, physical store red boxes where you go and you put in the money and get a DVD out of it and take it home you bring it back then there was the online services that did the same thing and then that quickly switched all of that over into fucking online streaming services Netflix and chill, um, yada, 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 yada. Same damn thing is going to happen with these services. YouTube is past its point of diminishing returns, past its peak, past that little um, inverse proportionate of the diminishing returns curve up to the peak. Now they're, they're going down and VTubers... Look at it simply. YouTube has been pushing this and delaying it for as long as possible by attacking it violently. <laughs> yeah, YouTube has been going at it violently. If you can count deleting entire channels and comment sections about uh, pornographically related stuff violent, then yes, they have been in the death throes of stopping it, but it's inevitable because now it's snuck in in the form of VTubers. And they're making all these lewd, provocative jokes, and they're all being taken in and out of context at the same time. YouTube's on that last end of the bell curve. And now, there are other platforms that are just getting started right now. There are at least four that I've heard of don't remember their names. I haven't looked into and researched most of them. Um, one of them requires a monthly subscription, but they're starting right now. YouTube is dying, and VTubers are a symptom, or rather a showing of the symptom of it dying. The symptom is the rise of, uh, questionable pornographic content. The sign of that symptom is VTubers are being, well, widely accepted. The, the cause of, of this situation is quite simply YouTube is dying. No, no, that's the effect. The, the cause was bad and greedy business practice. Really, really bad business practice. I could point to numerous examples that I've myself been through as far as that is going, but that's not the scope of this particular video. And now you understand what I referenced at the beginning of this video. And hopefully... You understand why I'm having difficulty putting a label on all these different forums of entertainment of uh, the audio-visual variety. Because you've had movie theaters, cassettes and VHS and DVD and online streaming and sites like YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that and it's all the same entertainment medium 
it's just a different piece of the industry that is going through its life cycle at a different time than all the uh, the rest of the entertainment industry that came before it. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm done yammering on like this. For fuck's sake. That was a lot. Well, there you have it. If you were in an area that didn't have um, porn shows in the movie theaters or the rental places, congratulations. You're a systemic anomaly in the system. Which is redundant that I said system twice, but there you go. You're, you're a, an anomaly in the system. Congratulations! Bravo! Elseways, whatever. Like or dislike this video. I don't, I don't fucking care. Just pick one and do it. Also, there's, there's links down below for throwing money my way so I can get drunk and do dumb shit in video games and create the illusion that we're all enjoying the, the chaos and destruction that's happening worldwide. And once I finally hit one billion subscribing peoples, oh, I'll hide my ugly mug so that you don't have to look at it anymore. That's it. I'm done.